the painting from Banksy that shocked the art world. Who would want to buy a half-destroyed art piece? But to our surprise, some people are ready to spend millions on it. So why would anyone even consider buying a partly destroyed piece of art and spend millions on it? Welcome to Art and Beyond. In today's video, we will answer your questions about the self-destructed art piece by Banksy and why it still costs millions. Banksy, the English-based street artist, political activist, and film director, has created an art piece like none other. The artist is well known for his distinctive creativities that often surprise the world. He shocked the world again, but in this time, it was quite an unexpected way. He shredded his art piece that was worth millions. It was such an iconic Banksy moment. The artist stunned the world when his piece of art, the girl with the balloon, attempted to self-destruct in London in 2018, right after the conclusion of the auction. Girl with Balloon was a 2002 started London series of stencil murals by Banksy, showing a young girl with her hand extending towards a red heart-shaped balloon floating in the wind. The girl is painted in black and white with few details and her heart-shaped balloon pops brightly, signifying hope. It indicates that when everything appears to be black and white, there is always a glimmer of hope pushing you through. This piece was endlessly reproduced, becoming one of Banksy's best-known images. Banksy gave the frame canvas to a friend after his now-famous Barely Legal exhibition in Los Angeles in 2006, which implies he installed the shredder before or shortly after the show. The art girl with balloon was auctioned at Sotheby's in London on October 5, 2018. The piece was sold at auction for $1.4 million. Banksy's Girl with a Balloon was the final artwork sold at Sotheby's Contemporary Art Evening Auction. But something very unexpected happened during the auction. The artwork self-destructed. But this wasn't an act of destruction. It was a moment of creation that transformed Banksy's Girl with a Balloon into an entirely new piece of art. In the auction at Sotheby's auction house, right after the artwork's auction deal was made and the hammer was put down, the alarm sounded and the canvas lowered itself through a hidden shredder built into the bottom of the large Victorian-style frame, leaving the bottom half of the piece in tatters and only a red balloon was left on a white background. The people in the auction watched in disbelief as the million-dollar artwork self-destructed. The bottom half of this painting was shredded into strips in what the auction house has denoted as a moment of instant art world history. The shredder stopped when the canvas was almost halfway through. Banksy said that this halt was unplanned and that he intended to shred the piece entirely. Banksy released a video indicating that the painting was intended to be shredded fully, showing the painting being shredded along with the words, in rehearsals, it worked every time. With the video, there was a quote from Picasso that read, The urge to destroy is also a creative urge. The piece was placed in a deep frame and was plugged in to facilitate built-in electrical lights, which also powered a shredding device hidden in the bottom edge. Shortly after the auction, Sotheby's announced that the painting was renamed by Banksy's representatives from Girl with Balloon to Love is in the Bin. And that's how the world-famous art piece Love is in the Bin was created. The artwork is the remains of Banksy's live destruction of his art, Girl with Balloon. The artwork quickly became one of Banksy's most famous art pieces. In addition, the art piece was displayed across several parts of the world. Well, the artwork may be called Love is in the Bin, but for me, love is in the click. So don't forget to click the subscribe button. Let's get back to the video. Sotheby's said that they did not know about the mechanism. Sotheby's officials insisted they'd been told by the frame was integral to the artwork and that they were not in on the prank. Immediately after the auction, technicians from Banksy's representatives, pest controls deactivated the shredder whilst letting the mechanisms remain. Sotheby referred to the artwork as the first artwork in history to have been created live during an auction. After the shredding, a negotiation was made with the buyer to confirm the sale, and on October 11th, it was agreed that the deal would go through at original full price. But the painting was shredded right after an anonymous female European buyer made the winning bid for £1 million or $1.4 million. Banksy's hidden shredder embedded in the frame left half the canvas hanging from the frame in strips. 
The anonymous female who brought the piece was a European collector and long-standing Sotheby's client. She decided to proceed with the sale even after the shredding. Market watchers speculated that the self-destruction of the artwork would increase its value, and, well, it certainly did. The buyer sold off her piece of art history at a London auction for 18 times what she originally paid at the Sotheby's auction, with the winning bidder offering $25.4 million for the shredded piece. So what made Banksy shred his piece of art worth millions? It was said that he was fed up with the inflated price tags his work has given on the secondary market from which he does not profit. So Banksy installed a remote-controlled shredder containing a row of scalpels inside each frame of the canvas of the girl with the balloon to destroy it in case the piece ever went to auction. Would you buy the half-destroyed artwork even if it's from Banksy? Which will you choose, the girl with the balloon or love is in the bin? And what do you like about it? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon to get new video updates on all our upcoming videos. Also, don't forget to check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.